We can't have a web page about Minka and Bear without describing them and giving our readers and the people who are visiting our web page a really great look at what makes Minka and Bear so special. So we have our heading one here. Let's go ahead and place a P tag, which means paragraph, right underneath our heading one. So we have a bracket, then P, and then a closing bracket. And we're going to put right here, Minka and Bear are our pets, and we love them. We hope you love them too after you find out a little more about them. And then I want to put my ending P tag, which is a bracket, forward slash P, and bracket. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and make a heading two and a heading three as subtopics. And in the heading two and heading three, we'll add a little bit more detail about Minka and Bear. So heading two, so that's just bracket H2 and then bracket. And this subtopic sub title will be Minka is an Alaskan Malamute from Ohio. That's a nice little topic heading. And then I put my uh, bracket forward slash H2 to end that subtopic heading two. Okay, so it's important. This heading is important, but not as important as this heading it's because it's an H2. This is an H1. So for my paragraph under Minka is an Alaskan Malamute from Ohio, let's put a little bit about Minka. Minka is black and white with long fur and huge paws. She may be outside in terrible weather, including degrees of up to minus 40 below zero. And then I put my NP tag. So Minka is an Alaskan Malamute from Ohio. Minka is black and white with long fur and huge paws. She may be outside in terrible weather, including degrees of up to negative 40 below zero. I'll move my CSS over so we can see this. So our reader sees welcome or Minka and Bear's webpage welcomes you, and that's our heading one. Our heading two is Minka is an Alaskan Malamute from Ohio, and then we have two paragraphs underneath. Perfect. And it gives us some description of what um, we are talking about in this webpage, which is Minka. And now let's go ahead and talk about Bear. So we, um, let's put another H2 here. Bear is a Bernese mountain dog puppy from the Amish country in Ohio. That's a nice little subtopic. Tells our readers what we're talking about. And then the paragraph underneath, let's describe Bear a little bit. So Bear is still small and weighs only 40 pounds. He has short black and brown fur with 
white patches. He will grow to be bigger than Minka someday soon. And then I put my end P. Okay? So this makes sense. This is just like how you would write a school report. Minka and Bear's web page welcomes you. That's heading one. It's larger than any of these headings. These are subheadings, headings, heading two, heading two. And we have a little paragraph, one, two, three paragraphs under each heading. And each of them sort of explains why Minka and Bear are so special. Minka and Bear are our pets and we love them. We hope you love them too after you find out a little bit more about them. Uh, Minka is an Alaskan Malamute from Ohio. That's the subtopic and sort of it introduces this little guy right here, which is Minka is black and white with long fur and huge paws. She may be outside in terrible weather, including degrees of up to 40 below zero. Um, which it doesn't get that cold here in Ohio, but um, it certainly gets down to zero and below zero at some point. I wouldn't have her outside in that, but um, uh, she certainly can be. Bear is a Bernese mountain dog puppy from the Amish country in Ohio. That's a nice little subtopic. And Bear is still small and weighs only 40 pounds. He has short black and brown fur with white patches. He will grow to be bigger than Minka someday. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the next thing that I think that I want to add to our web page about Minka and Bear is underneath Minka. So H2, Minka is an Alaskan Malamute from Ohio. That's a little subtitle and or a little subheading. And then we have Minka is black and white with long fur. That's a little paragraph. I want to go ahead and put an H3 heading. So another small topic heading. And I am going to type out Alaskan Malamute Traits. Ooh, that means characteristics about doggies like Minka. Fabulous. Okay, so I want to do another paragraph under this little subtitle, this little subheading right here. And these are going to be all kinds of traits about an Alaskan Malamute and what I feel like are definitely traits of Minka. So <clears throat> Malamute, Malamutes are strong intelligent and able to endure lots of bad weather exclamation point minka loves to run outside with me every day she is a great running oops, partner because, and again, these are just more traits that I'm going to give to my reader, more little insights into Minka that tell my readers why we're writing this web page and why Minka is so special. So she is a great running partner because she is very steady on her feet, even in snow and ice and she has learned not to pull me on her leash and that has taken quite a bit of training but no I'll tell her don't pull and she does real well with not pulling okay so that's the end paragraph so let's look at what we have we have our big H1 that um, when Google is searching, it reads all of our H1s and it says, oh, you're looking for information about Minka and Bear? Here you go. Um, Minka and Bear's webpage welcomes you. Then we have a paragraph. Then we have some sub subheadings underneath. So here is a, a heading two. Here is a heading three. 
And here's another heading too, because these are going to be sort of their own little topics. And one is about Minka and one is about Bear. So we have traits um, underneath Minka, her little Alaskan Malamute traits. And let's go ahead and put some traits underneath Bear. So I go right here. So there's my H2 in my paragraph. Let me do an H3 for Bear now and describe him. Bernese Mountain Dog Traits. And these are just things that make Bear, being a, a Bernese Mountain Dog, make him special. So I go ahead and I put my bracket and my P in my other bracket. And I say, Bernese Mountain Dogs are large, affectionate, and calm. Bear is very easy going and doesn't require too much supervision. He does get up on the counter if you leave something yummy out. But just tell him no and he gets down. That's sort of a fun little Bernie fact right there about Bear. He has been pretty easy to train. So far, so good. Okay, so um, we have a nice little web page going here. It's a little boring because it doesn't have any style to it, but it's nice. We have some H1s, H2s, H3s, and some paragraphs. And everything was within our body tag, our readers see. And we've made it sort of fun to read this. And we've talked about the um, different types of breeds that Minka and Bear are, and then given some information about what makes them special too, just specific to Bear and Minka. Um, and because I'm sure not all um, Malamutes are great running partners and not all Bernies uh, jump up on the counters, but you know what? I'm sure owners would say that they do. Okay.